consider this example a simple view with a view model that has two published properties but only one of them is being used in the ui this can lead to big problems if you're still using observable objects so let me tell you why i've wired up a very small example app here that's just a screen with a string and the string is from a view model and i have implemented two different versions one using observable object and one using the add observable macro to illustrate our problem i've added a random background color here so every time that our view gets redrawn the background color changes views getting redrawn is the key point here because now with an observable object there is a big issue if you have multiple published values but are not using all of them in your view so this observable object has string one and string two hello observable object string one is used in the ui and string two is only updated in the view but it's not used for the ui so if string 2 changes we don't really need the layout system to redraw our old content view i have implemented a simple example here where after two sec two seconds after the view appears string 2 changes to an arbitrary value and as we will see in a second once i update the preview this will actually cause the background color to change which means that the view got redrawn without it actually needing to be redrawn because we don't care about that published value in this view so i'll just add a letter to the string here to force the preview to be redrawn and then you will see it starts out as a red background and if we wait for two seconds it switches to green despite us not updating the view ourselves just another published variable updated this is of course an issue so how do we fix this we fix this by using the add observable macro everything in our view stays exactly the same we're just using our new view model instead of our old view model we still have the random background color we are still changing string two after two seconds and we're still only using string one in our ui implementation our view model is also a little simpler now. Instead of um, conforming to the observable object protocol, we're now using the add observable macro. This means that we can get rid of add published and all of these variables are getting published or observable by default. Now, let me quickly show this in the preview as well. So this is just called content view and you will see it appears red. We wait for two seconds and nothing happens. The view does not get redrawn despite this value getting changed in the view model but with the observation framework where add observable comes from it's now much more efficient in view redraws and only redraws the view if it actually depends on the variable that was changed here's the technical explanation observable objects have an internal combined publisher called object will change this gets fired every time a published variable changes and views that reference a published variable internally subscribe to object will change and thus will re-evaluate their body every time this publisher fires at observable is more intelligent about this and only updates a view if a variable depends on changes on ios 26 and forward it even skips updates if the variable gets a new value that is equal to the old value so even more efficient Quick note, with add observable objects, you left variables without add published to prevent view updates. This isn't needed for add observable, but there is the add observation ignored annotation to explicitly mark a property as non-updating. It might seem a little simple in this example, but have a look at your code base. Should your views really update for all add published property changes? If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe and like the video. Leave a comment if you have any feedback or future video suggestions.